Good morning, everyone. This is Jacques from Inkish TV, reporting from the Hunkler Innovation Days here in Luzern, Switzerland. And uh, to start uh, the morning off, I'm joined here with uh, Bill from Ironsides. Hello, Bill. How Hello, are you good morning, this morning? Very good. How good. are you? Excellent. Thank you. So I can't uh, miss your little American accent. Yeah. So how come you're in Europe? Uh, I've been doing business in Europe for about the last uh, seven or eight years, I think. And um, Ironsides is a Boston-based company. We're a software company. Mm -hmm. So once we get through the installation process, we can work uh, virtually anywhere in the world. Right. So we've been fortunate that uh, Ironsides is an uh, established base of business uh, in the UK and Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, this event is ideal for me to uh, reconnect with my clients, especially after after, after uh, the COVID. difficult period. Yeah. Oh yeah. So is this the first time that you're here at uh, Hunkle Innovation Days? No, I've been I've been to about the last five. So this is the uh, third show that we've taken a booth. Okay, so yeah. you're well placed to, which I was coming to my basic question and that I'm trying to look for at this exhibition. So over the last couple of years, there have been some difficult years, as you say. What is, in your opinion, the new thing that people, you think people are ready to make the transition to the the really digital digitalization of, of their companies? What, what is your point and take on that? I think that they're uh, going down that path whether they want to or not. Mm -hmm. So people talk about Industry 4.0. Uh, I would say that Ironsides has been in Industry 4.0 for about the last 10 years. So 4.0 is connecting all the devices on the floor so that you can really see and manage what's going on out there better. Mm -hmm. That happens to be exactly what, what we do. Yeah. So the theme of the show right now is uh, next level gener automation. Mm -hmm. We've been at next level since about 2010. Yep. Uh, what's forcing people down to digitization is their customer base. So Inkjet, uh, I think Inkjet's fantastic. Inkjet has been a very positive, disruptive force mm -hmm. in the printing industry because it's enabled the print service provider to change the way that they help their customers. Their customers have been able to bundle more jobs into print contracts because the providers have inkjet mm. and they can produce more jobs more efficiently on an inkjet printer. Yes, I don't know in America, of course, but in Europe, yeah. uh, as you as you know, obviously, uh, a lot of them are still offset printers, right? Yes. And uh, size-wise, you know how it is. They they often have rather rather uh, recent equipments. So, yeah. uh, how do you think the um, the, the changeover to especially inkjet, as you say, and it's like a topic here in uh, in, in, in Lucerne uh, here. So, how do you think that the changeover to that, that inkjet systems are, are going to go, and uh, what can you uh, bring to the table to help them? So, we we deal with a lot of uh, prospects mm. on the commercial side of the business who are trying to make that transition from uh, analog presses to digital presses. Mm. One of the things they worry about is control. Uh, I have an environment today in analog where I have complete control of the entire process. Digital is different. Can I get that same control in digital? This is what Ironsides does. We have a tool set that helps them maintain that control. Um, that's what they worry about. But their customer base is pushing them to inkjet because the customer base is moving away from very long runs that go into a warehouse that are stored and released. Instead, they're going to print on demand, even for commercial processes, mm -hmm. even for books. Right. So you see that rather than, you still, uh, Harry Potter, mm -hmm. they'll still print millions of Harry Potter. But other publications, they might print 100, yeah, 200, to the book of 20, one, or one. Yeah. And they have to be able to see that process and control it. That's what they worry about. We happen to have a tool set that helps them with that Well, situation. that brings me to my last question here. So, in Europe, I think in the States it's about the same, we have quite good MIS CRP systems. Yes. Why should they go for uh, Ironsides? Uh, we provide that last step. So the last step is, in, inside of an MIS and ERP, they need to create the jobs, they need to onboard the jobs, they need to present them for printing, they need to get them out to the floor, and now, because of digitization and many, many, many small jobs, they need another level of visibility, mm. another level of control. 
That's what we provide. And do you link in as well with, and we with link those in. systems that's, that's through APIs or? APIs and also through database connections. Okay. So we right. primarily work off a SQL database. Our SQL database talks to any other SQL database. Our database is built to cooperate mm -hmm. and collaborate. Okay. So it's open and Fantastic. it works. Open structure. So yeah. you told me earlier you got quite some, uh, some <coughs> sorry, quite some people uh, over in the UK. Yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, this is one of uh, the times that you're looking for uh, to open up into Europe with your systems as well. So I hope that we, you uh, you'll succeed. We have succeed. a base in Europe, so we're okay. looking to grow on that base. Perfect. So it's important, I think, for our clients here to see us here, to know that we're here to support them. And it's, 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 I love the show. It's a great show. Perfect. Well, best of luck yeah. to you. And okay. uh, we'll see each other soon. Thank you.